as you see in the roads are shocking here yeah massive potholes everywhere there we go welcome back to Mostyn um, about half an hour into the flood now low tide as you can see it's a full of mud here and a bit of a rocky rocky mark gets a bit snaggy over over high water but it's easier to cast over and when you bring the rod in keep your tip, uh, rod tip high not to snag yeah uh, I think I might just set up here for now and then move over to that beach there uh, there's a uh, one guy down there fishing already just gonna get ready now get my rods out hopefully get into some place that's my main target as you know chance of a uh, thorn back rays flounder this time of year maybe a conga uh, I would have liked to fish dog side but um, a misty tide now tide flooding in you only got like two hours two hours there before you have to move uh, perfect tide today as well uh, just over seven meter high water so there won't be there won't be much uh, tide run here so ideal day for place fishing uh, it's gonna be three four hours of daylight now so I'm gonna need to get here set up quickly and then get onto place yeah uh, stay tuned uh, I'll see you down there that's it we're one of the rods ready the place rod um, just got a simple one up one down rig with a bead on it it's a nice simple one up one down and the plain lead it has frozen like well fresh to frozen pump these on the last spring tide um, and a four ounce rolling lead it's just gonna aim near that boy there it's fairly still deep in there considering it's uh, about an hour after low, low tide, tide flooding in now and that guy on my right he just pulled in a nice ray and I think there's a couple of people fishing the, on a dock yeah get this one out now before I waste any more time let's get on them place first session in Mostyn let's hope it's a good one Uh, fishing with my uh, any fish anywhere four and bait 13 foot 5,000 reel um, 40 pound shock leader on here um, braid and 20 pound main line perfect setup for place and bass fishing really now let's get this sent out now Pass really well. And this rod, love it. Right, I'm gonna. I might be fishing three rods. Uh, or might wait till the uh, water come in a little more. See how I feel. Right, I'll get the other rod ready now. That's it, second rod ready. Just got a mackerel fillet on that. Usual 
pulley panel rig on on the shorts you need on a small mackerel bait six ounce clipper um just gonna see what's the crop activities there um if you target in place here by far the best bait is a peeler crab you do get them on the lug, lug worms but there's so many crabs out there they just usually strip it as soon as it hit the water just a matter of time if a place get to the bait before the crab, crab does uh, get this second rod out now and uh, I might uh, set my third rod up so it'll be lug mackerel and I've got a squid and Joe coming over he's bringing some razor clams um, I've got some blue here as well we'll just try different baits and uh, see how we get on here we're gonna fish it to high water and then back home uh, managed to sneak out after work it's Thursday today uh, 4th of April 2024 so it's 4 04 04 2024. See if it's a lucky day. Um, let's get that one out now and uh, hopefully uh, get a couple of fish out today. Change of plan. Third rod going to be a place, uh, place rod again. Um, just a small look bait, two up, one down longer trace on the bottom uh, nothing on these yet first cast uh, let's get that one out now hopefully be a blank soon uh, Craig Oliver and Joe coming down Craig should be here soon with Oliver but Joe's running late right let's get casting third rod Maximum our chances today. Um, forecast going to turn for the worse. Next three days, it's Thursday today. It's turning and you're getting worse Saturday and Sunday, 50 mile an hour wind. Hence, I'm out again today uh, to finish work and then pick some squid on the way and uh, some blue away. I'm here. Right, let's get casting, boys. Well, this is what you get here <laughs> if you don't fish uh, crop baits. That was a place rig with a frozen black look. Came back, nothing, all stripped. Uh, even the bait elastic gone. So I get this baited up again. Because of the full of mud in front of us, that's the state of the lead. <laughs> Um, I think we need another hour or two. Then I might might get onto onto that beach there and uh, cast into the mud when the place the feeding all around there onto the mud and the massive gull is there as well in front of us. I we'll get this baited up now and get casting. Um, all of us here. My left and Oscar. That's Craig. There you know. Let's get some fish out, guys. Oh, 
What did I say? Hey. What did I say? Hey, lazy this time of year. Yeah, that's the belt, isn't it? The si size of that. Size of that. Get in, guys. Get in. Woohoo! Could be a PB here. Wow. Proper bin lid. Woohoo! Check this out. Right, let's get it on up first. I'm gonna get back to this in a minute. Check this out for place, guys. PB and all. There, push it that big. Just over 45 centimeters. PB was 43. Now, first place session of the year, and first session in Mostin. Back with the bank, lovely place, and really thick for, for surprisingly, really thick place for the time of the year. Amazing size of that. Beautiful. Well, it's just rain just coming down pretty heavy now. Um, I'm just gonna get a quick picture with it and uh, I might end up keeping this for the table guys what you reckon must be near two pound mark lovely let's get a quick picture of it what a beauty what a beauty <laughs> get in over the moon with this Right, let's get another bait out, and I might need a, need my coat. Uh, get back to you in a bit, guys. Target achieved. Second cast. Yes. Not about the first place of the year. Uh, surprisingly, it was one pound seven ounce. Very right fat for the time of the year, anyway. Uh, so he must be feeding well. That'll do. Nice dinner tomorrow. Yeah, um, tide coming in now. Uh, we might end up staying here actually. Now we got a nice place out of here. Thanks to Craig, he got some uh, frozen peelers. I wasn't expecting much on the uh, frozen look here. I've just seen before the uh, look came back stripped. Uh, usually, loads of crap out, uh, out uh, this time of year. But, um, yeah, frozen look, done no damage. Yeah, we have. I have seen the initial bite. I was waiting my other rod, uh, getting a, uh, another mackerel bay out. Me and Craig seen the bite. I said to Craig, uh, they can be very uh, lazy this time of year because they've been spawning all winter. They hardly got any energy to take the bait. So it took the bait and just like swallowed it. Every now and again, just like little pull down, and I, t uh, I knew it was on already, so I left it, get the bait out, and I turned the camera on and walked down. I knew something was there. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> Cracking fight with it as well. Uh, on me, uh, any fish anywhere for and bait. Yeah, I'm not sure if the camera picked up, but the, the rod was just bent double. Yeah, happy with that guys. Uh, well worth the trip now. Uh, still got about three hours to high water. Uh, probably about a couple of hours uh, of daylight left. As you know, place fishing is best at, uh, when uh, in daylight. That doesn't mean you can't catch them at night, you do. Uh, going back four or five years ago, I've had my PB at New Brighton Prom. That was 39 centimeters uh, at night, and it was a rough weather. So they do feed occasionally, occasionally at night. So yeah, just got two two rods for uh, place, one one uh, rod for raise. Hopefully, the other lass will get some fish. Um, yeah. I'm glad now, um, by far the dog side, best for place there is you get bigger, bigger place down that side, up to like 50, 55 centimeters, 
some huge place but this was huge for me 45 new PB I just bumped into uh, James he was fishing there just he saw me spotted me and said hello uh, he see my fish and he said uh, he caught bigger than that over there I can't believe it there's some monsters there anyway nice chilled out session rain stopped luckily very calm warm 13 14 degrees comfortable just not that comfortable walking on these rocks at the moment but you can't get everything easy yeah uh, stay tuned and uh, hopefully we'll see a couple more fish before we go either way I'm quite happy with the one fish and it's a PB right see you in a bit guys A quick update, really slow, just the one place I found. Um, yeah, four of us fishing here, just the one, uh, one place, that second class place, PB place. Um, looking at measurement, it's 46 centimeters, not 45. So. PB beaten by three centimeters. Uh, tight. Uh, seven o'clock now. Uh, high water is twenty-two nine. Uh, probably have another hour of uh, daylight here. Um, ideally, you want a uh, bright sun for place fishing. Um, seems to be more active in the sunlight. But I don't usually fish this part of the beach. Um, like I said, I prefer fishing the dock, but um, that is good for uh, ebbing tide. Last three hours of flood and uh, two hours up and then tide rushes in there it's really hard, hard to hold the bottom there, that side of the um, beach <clears throat> that's a bait going out now um, big baits coming back pretty much stripped down to the bone mackerel bait um, just sent out a mackerel and squid wrap for a or maybe a conga. Yeah, quite a session. But I'm quite happy what I've got. What I've got. Get this bait out now. Um, hopefully, wink another one. Wink another one up. Probably give another hour here and uh, get packing. I'm on an early shift again. Uh, glad I came out just for a few hours. Uh, when I check the weather for the weekend, it's literally blowing a gale Saturday and Sunday. So this is the only break we had next few days. Um, first session here. Another PB. I'll take that. But um, all the other last on blank. Yeah, anything else? I'll get back to you guys. If not, uh, it's gonna be a one fish session. Unfortunately.
good tide, just not good weather. And it started raining again. Uh, I think we got about half an hour of uh, daylight left. It was perfect tide as well, 7.1 meter here. It's ideal tide to fish for place. Um, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, I guess. Unbelievable. Uh, rips, yeah, runs like a train. Oh well. Anything else, uh, get back to you. If not guys, uh, Thanks for watching. It's one of them, it's just one fish and one PB. Uh, not much of action, like uh, bass videos. Just sort of came here, uh, not far from mine, so it's not two or three hours drive. And uh, nice, uh, easy fishing, really. I literally park here, down the slope. You on the rocks or beach? Easy fishing. Right, that's it for today's episode. Unless uh, I'll uh, hook into another fish in the next cast or two. Uh, probably see you on the bass hunt again next session. Or I might try for mackerel. Mackerel's been showing up all over Anglesey. Uh, I might try uh, not North Shore again, London, no. Yeah, until then, tight lines. See you on the next one.